and inspirational. Water's immense energy to power their machines, then spew their waste into the gorge. Into this world of carnival hucksters and dilapidated mills walks Frederick Law Olsen, renowned landscape architect. Olsen is horrified by what he sees and wonders how can something so beautiful be so desecrated. together the most prominent academics, businessmen, and politicians of the day to form the Free Niagara Movement. Many of the country's luminaries lend their voices to the cause. Public support grows, and the movement gains strength. Church, a distinguished American artist, helps inspire the movement, reminding the public of what has been lost and what Free Niagara promises to restore. Church's painting has an enormous effect on the public who are spellbound by the great beauty that was once Niagara Falls. In 1885, the movement succeeds in turning Niagara Falls into a state park in the nation today. It becomes the inspiration for the creation of our national park system. The world changed here. During this period, the brilliant scientist Nikola Tesla, a recent immigrant to America, dreamed of generating energy by harnessing the power from the fogs. Just think of it. If we could convert running water into electrical energy and transmit it long distances, we could reduce poverty in this world. And I have a perfect time for to do it. Believing that alternating current was the way of the future, Tesla designs generators that can produce alternating current capable of being transmitted over long distances. But will it work? Armed with his invention, Tesla teams up with another proponent of AC power, industrialist George Westinghouse. A competition is held for the contract to build a new Adams power plant at Niagara Falls. Tesla and Westinghouse demonstrate the advantages of alternating current at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. They win the commission. scale hydroelectric power plant and the first to generate AC current using Tesla designed generators. In August 1895, the plant begins operating. A little more than a year later, electricity is sent from the Adams Power Plant to Buffalo, New York, nearly 20 miles away. When the Pan Am Expo comes to Buffalo in 1901, with visitors arriving from across the globe, Tesla and Westinghouse seize the opportunity to showcase their accomplishment to the world. To the amazement and wonder of all, the Adams Power Plant at Niagara Falls lights up the Pan Am Expo in Buffalo in a spectacular and dazzling display of lights unlike anything ever seen before. Niagara Falls is soon providing electricity across New York and beyond. New electricity long distances electrifies the world. It is the same system we use today, over a hundred years later. The world's changed here. Sometimes human brilliance can give power to people. Sometimes people can restore beauty to nature. And sometimes by working together. We can ensure that beauty and power exist 
together. As you step out and explore and breathe Niagara Falls, as you sense its awe and inspiration, remember, Yeah, but I think you're